We got the brother on tape in 98 saying it. I'm fully confident that America has less than 375 days. And we're going to be missing out here in UFOs. That same brother is on YouTube to this day. His name is Tohar. Sitting on there, and now everybody that was part of that camp be cussing out now because everybody's fighting and jockeying for top position in Israel. Well, Christ got the top position. That's, That's right. right. We done missed the whole point now. You feel me? So, y'all gonna be on Facebook and you gonna see all these cats. No, for certainty, we ain't even affiliated. We no, interact no. with some of them, but we not even affiliated. No way, shape, form, or fashion. We down with the Father and I know the Son, Christ. And you know, we're not just only like the cats out there at school. We got Ben Yahweh Father was still out here. Yep. You feel me? You got uh, 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 Ben Amina Bus Driver. Ben Amina Bus Driver. There's people over in the Mona Desert. You got a lot of different cults and cliques and, and factions in Israel. Mm. Right? But ain't nobody pumping the Messiah. Per se, as it is real. Everybody yeah. on their own for water down. You know, and I'm saying that we know we got the 100% truth, but we willing to hear it, listen, and take free proof and correction. Right. If these men ain't, like, it's just straight mad. You see, we just read it when, when you said it. When you, the Lord ain't done what you when, made us. I, when he said it in chapter 7, that his name should be called Emmanuel, mm -hmm. it's going to be a purpose. He prophesied it then, it happened then, people didn't believe it then, right. people don't believe it today. Right. You know, it's the same thing, no new thing under the sun. It's just the fact that we, the ones that know we got to keep going, and the ones that don't know that reject it, they fall by the wayside. Yeah. Kick the dust and keep it. Yeah, yeah. You're going to see a lot of that. We got just a couple more scriptures in Proverbs, real quick, brothers and sisters, and we got to read Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1. Nah, man, we ain't going to get to finish that. We got to the point, though. They would not let me get the courage. I was the point. Alright, let's take one of the first chapter. I mean, the only reason we cut this short today is that we set up a feast in the back. Close out time now. Y'all don't know it's an eight day feast. We kicked it off last Sunday, Sunday in the park. You said what? <laughs> you feel me? And uh, the last day of it actually ends the night at sundown, so it, the end of it will be tomorrow at sundown. You feel me? So we just, uh, as a class, we're going to end out. We got a little, little vittles back there. The brothers down at the end of the class from early. Usually we kept going, but you know how it is. All right, Proverbs chapter 1. We do read. What did he say? He said three flesh.
That's what we saw in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, the 11th chapter. It goes into the order of God. The head of Christ is his father. That's right. The head of man is Christ. That's right. The head of woman is man. That's right. And then it goes into the order of praying and prophesying. Any man praying or prophesying with his head covered dishonors his head. To That's the right. Head of God. Any woman praying or prophesying with her head uncovered. This honors her head. That's right. Right? So the head of woman is man, according to the Bible. The head of man is Christ. Right? That's physical, though. Spiritual, your head is you taking on another doctrine. So, say I said later for Christ, I'm going to take on the doctrines of Buddha. I will be dishonoring Christ as Christ mm -hmm. my head. You feel me? And in a sense, I'm praying or prophesying with my head cut. You see what I'm saying? Spiritually, even with, with, with the women. You know what I'm saying? So it says later on in the first Corinthians 11, shall a woman have power on her head or cover her head because of the angels. Right. If you know about the fallen angels in Genesis chapter 6, they saw women that were beautiful, mm -hmm. they were uncovered, meaning step one, they didn't have men. Step two, they weren't covered up physically, and they went to them and taught them all types of secrets of seduction, mm. extending other eyelashes, mm. taught them how to, you know, they brought men, weapons, and stuff that would eventually destroy us. Knowledge from on high that came down to man, they eventually would destroy us and get us away from God. Right. So it says in the Bible, all things must be done decently and in order. That's right. right? It's just the order of God. It's your right? cover. Now, it ain't, you know, like we've been toe tagging back and we say, <laughs> you know, get up out of here, right? But as a camp, as a unified camp, we're teaching certain things and we're praying as a camp, you know what I'm saying?